privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Good Friday evening to minister the final message for today. God bless you richly indeed. I release a blessing upon your life and I pray on this Good Friday that God will bless you uh, physically, spiritually, uh, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every day in your life. I pray that uh, God will bless your homes today. God will bless your marriage. God will bless your finances. God will bless your children. God will bless your business. God will bless you on the job and whatever you do, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful day. Yes, my friends, I pray that I, I will have covering under the precious blood. I cover everyone under the precious blood of Jesus on this Good Friday and I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood that Jesus shed on Good Friday is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Today, my friends, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses that come against your life for the first, second, third or fourth generational curses. I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus for whom the Son set free is free indeed. This evening you are free in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give a big hand to you. You're free in your body. You're free in your soul. You're free in your spirit today. Yes, fighting the good fight of faith in your spirit realm is very important. Yes, my friends, God wants you to fight the good fight of faith. Indeed, my friends, the Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, <clears throat> are not carnal as Christians. We are not fighting a physical battle. Therefore, my friends, we cannot employ physical weapons. Yes, hallelujah, praise God. Even though we are not in the physical combat, the Bible tells us the reality remains that we are in an inventable spiritual battle. A spiritual battle, my friends. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 stated clearly, my friends, for we rest not against flesh and blood but against principalities yes against powers and against yes the rulers of the darkness of this world yes beloved tonight against spiritual wickedness in high places hallelujah thank you Jesus that's the fight tonight first Timothy chapter 6 verse 12 tells us Clearly, my friends, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. God wants you to lay hold on eternal life to which you were called and have, have, have confessed that good, good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Beloved and friends, this evening, the Apostle Paul tells us, in his letter to Timothy, clearly exhort him to fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith and never give up in life. In essence, this verse is telling us that we need to stand firm. Stand firm in our faith and remain faithful to God Almighty in the face of adversity and trials and testings and tribulation. As believers, we are all engaged in a spiritual battle yes my friends we engage in the battle the enemy is constantly seeking to deceive and discourage discourage and defeat us in so many ways he wants us to doubt god's goodness yes and mercy and turn away from him yes my friends but we we as believers must not give in to his schemes instead my friends we must fight back with the truth of god's word 
and the power of the Holy Spirit itself. Hallelujah. The Greek word for fighting tonight as used as used by the Apostle Paul is oh this is me. Yes my friends it tells that it means yes to struggle to struggle or to compete, compete for a price. My friends it also means yes to contend contend with the adversary or to endeavor endeavor to accomplish something greater yes my friends endeavor paul reminds timothy his son and the lord and the lord to make sure that he fights the good fight of faith hallelujah to heal hold on eternal life is very important this evening moreover paul remind timothy of the confession of his salvation which my friends he had made before many witnesses many witnesses hallelujah praise god like timothy tells us clearly you have have given your life to Christ and made a public confession to him. Yes, my friends, your confession to Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Yes, tonight was not only known to the people who witnessed your salvation. God, God, my friends, the devil and all his courts, courts are witnesses of it itself, my friends. So to this evening, you must defeat and in fact defend the faith because the devil will attack it. Yes, my friends, don't allow him to defeat you. He and his agents are not happy. You are going to heaven today. Therefore, they will try all within their power to put stumbling blocks before you yes my friends this is this is why you must fight you must fight hallelujah praise God fighting in good fight of faith yes is to work out your own salvation work out your own salvation with fear and trembling hallelujah praise God fighting the good fight of faith my friends is to lay aside every weight, lay aside every weight and sin which do it so easily beset us. Yes, my friends, and running with patience the race that is set before us. Hallelujah. Fighting, my friends, a good fight of faith is, is to be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Fighting the good fight of faith is to, is to be prepared persuaded that uh, neither death nor life, uh, angels nor principalities, uh, yes my friends, nor powers, uh, nor things present, uh, nor things to come, uh, hallelujah, nor height, uh, nor death, uh, nor depth, uh, nor any other creature, praise God, shall be able to separate you from, uh, from the love of God Almighty which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Yes, as we remember this Good Friday today, fighting the good fight. Jesus wants us to fight the good fight of faith is to know that some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but you will remember the name of the Almighty God on the cross. Our Lord, our God, fighting, fighting the good fight of faith is to chase after peace. Yes, my friends, with all men, and holiness holiness without which no man shall see the lord it means you have to run away from sin run away from sin and flee from every appearance of evil beloved fighting the good fight of faith is the decision to follow after righteousness praise the lord thank you jesus and to endure any persecution that may arise because of your faith in jesus Christ our Lord and Savior fighting the good fight of faith reminds me my friends of the song today hallelujah I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus yes I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back you want us to sing it no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus and no turning back with me I shall still yes my friends I shall still follow tree I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back you take the whole
whole world, but give me Jesus. You take the whole world, but give me Jesus. You take the whole world, but give me Jesus. There is no turning back, no turning back. The cross before me and the world behind me. The cross before me and the world behind me. The cross before me and the world behind me. No turning back, no turning back. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Follow through, my friends. No turning back. No turning back. I take a few minutes. I take a few seconds there. to true. No turning back. I will still follow Jesus. Yes, do none go with me. I will follow Jesus. I will still follow. I will still follow. No turning back. Can you say that today? Take your cross. No turning back. Hallelujah. Shikana Masante. My cross shall carry. Carry till I see Jesus. I shall carry till I see Jesus my cross I carry till I see Jesus Christ yes my friends my cross I carry till I see Lord Jesus my cross I carry no turning back no turning back come now turning back my friends no turning back today the world behind me yes and the cross before me yes no turning back yes the world behind me and the cross before me the cross before you today keep the cross the world behind you and keep the cross in front of you the cross before me Jesus went on the cross on Good Friday no turning back no turning back my friends no turning back hallelujah how can we fight this good fight of faith today beloved Hallelujah, by staying grounded, grounded and rooted in the word of the Almighty God. The Bible is our guidebook for life today, and we must know it well, my friends. We must know it well. We need to study it, meditate on it, and apply it to our lives as individuals. Yes, the more we know the word of God, beloved, the better equipped we will be to fight the good fight of faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name. Second Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17 tells us this evening all scriptures is given by inspiration of the Almighty God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof yes for correction uh, for instruction yes in righteousness hallelujah that's the man of god may be complete the man of god may be complete thoroughly equipped for every good work hallelujah praise the lord as as we fight the good fight of faith today yes the work is finished on the cross we must fill our hearts with the word of god it is the word of the spirit Yes, and a powerful weapon against the wiles of Satan himself. Yes, my friends, when Jesus was being tempted by the devil in the desert, yes, he used the word of God. Yes, he used the word of God to put him where he belongs. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We too must familiarize ourselves with the word of God by reading it daily, my friends, and meditating upon it hallelujah praise god the scriptures is a lamp unto our feet yes my friends guide us as we fight as we fight the good fight of faith hallelujah praise god it instructs us on what we need to do yes to overcome sin and temptations hallelujah praise god the word of god equips us with wisdom knowledge knowledge and understanding hallelujah thank you jesus additionally it also builds builds and strengthen our faith in God Almighty. It strengthens our faith. Romans chapter 10 and verses 17 tells us today, my friends, that our faith, if faith in God is built when we rooted ourselves in the word of the living God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We fight the good fight of faith. 
fight by faith by praying constantly praying constantly beloved prayer prayer is a way of communicating with god yes and it is a powerful weapon today yes in our spiritual warfare beloved this evening we need to pray without ceasing as we seek as we seek god guidance wisdom wisdom and strength and to face the challenges that come our way hallelujah thank you jesus matthew chapter 26 verse 41 says watch and pray watch and pray lest he enter into temptation yes the spirit indeed is willing yes but the, the flesh is weak the flesh is weak my friends hallelujah praying strengthens our inner man hallelujah and weakens the flesh and all its desires today beloved and friends it is the flesh that can make us lose the battle to the enemy hallelujah but when our spirit man is strong when our spirit man is strong we become visit victors in christ additionally this evening we can still we can call on God in prayer and ask him, ask him to uphold us with his righteous hand. It is righteous hand. And as we fight the good fight of faith, yes, my friends, we fight the good fight of faith. Yes, by embracing and fellowshipping with brothering. Yes, my friends, for the Bible tells us, the Bible says clearly that where two or three are gathered in God's name, where two and three are gathered he is with them when we join hands when we join hands our fight of faith god's presence will be on our midst and we will fight he will fight for us as we fought for the Israelites, as he fought for the Israelites, we need the support and the encouragement and accountability of other believers. Beloved and friends, it is good to be part of a community of faith where we can share our struggles, pray for one another, yes, and grow together grow together in our faith yes my friends and beloved first Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 11 says to each and every one of us therefore comfort each other and edify one another edify one another as you also are doing today yes my friends and beloved we fight the good fight of faith we fight the good fight of faith by preserving in all situation persevering in all situation fighting the good fight of faith is not easy my friends and we will face many challenges and obstacles along the way but we must not give up we must not give up in this life we need to persevere we must trust in God's strength and power to see us through trust in God my friends and not in your own strength and ability and power but trust in the strength of Almighty God walk not in your own strength but walk in the power and the dunamis and the might of Almighty God God the Holy Spirit promised to be with you at all times and he promised never to leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world I as I close right now my prayer my beloved and friends I pray that God will bless you and heal you on this great good Friday God blessings be upon your life it has been a great joy and privilege to spend this good Friday day preaching in the presence of the Lord and ministering the word of God to everyone hallelujah God bless you richly I am looking forward to see you on the resurrection morning service God bless you richly God bless you I I love you greatly. Do have a sweet night dress and God be with you. Remember the 2000 years have come to a close my friends and beloved and we are about to enter into the new millennium.
the millennium reign of Jesus Christ for a thousand year period but before something like that can happen two things have to happen first yes my friends the rapture of the church has to take place and very soon the trumpet of the Lord will sound and the dead in Christ shall rise and those who are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord God in the air yes my friends and after that the tribulation period the next thing has to happen that the, we have to enter the world I will not be here but the world will enter into a seven year tribulation period where the Antichrist will rule and reign for seven years and during that seven year period the saints of God will be with Jesus Christ in the seven year marriage supper of the Lamb celebrating and after the seven year period is over yes in heaven with the greater with, with, with the marriage supper of the Lamb and the great tribulation upon earth Jesus Christ will return with the saints to set up his kingdom and rule and reign yes in that great city for a thousand years period where Satan will be bound yes my friends before I leave I know many are sick on this day even this Good Friday but I want to tell you today is your day for a miracle if you're suffering today I'm here to tell you on this Good Friday day it's a good day you will not die but you will live you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet. You will live and not die. Yes, my friends, if you're suffering from cancer, with AIDS, with COVID, with diabetes, heart problem, liver problem, prostate cancer, yes, what the case may be, if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame, today is your day for a miracle. If you're suffering with depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, today is your day for a miracle. If you have a migraine headache, we're gonna to touch you and heal you today. If you're suffering with arthritis pain in your fingers, on your knees, in your toes, in your joints, in your elbows, we're gonna to touch you right now. If you have uh, 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 that, that sickness, uh, that blood sickness, uh, yes, uh, it calls, I cannot remember the name right now, but I pray that God will borrow that sickness from your body, that you're pining away tonight uh, and heal your blood. Uh, yes, heal your blood and you'll be free from that sickness yes my friends we're gonna heal you from that blood sickness today if you are suffering and demons are harassing you tonight I pray in the name of Jesus I command those harassing demons to leave your body right now and go in the name of Jesus for I feel a tremendous anointing of God the Holy Spirit today and I release that anointing wherever you're watching from this evening. If you're watching from the USA, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, or any part of this world, today, this Good Friday, is your day for a miracle. Then on this Good Friday is your day for a miracle and healing and deliverance. As I send for the anointing tonight, tonight I pray that you will receive your healing in the name of Jesus. For not by might, nor by power, but the working of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus as I send for the anointing right now be healed in the name of Jesus be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit I see many many are healed today many are healed from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness my loved and friends is the power of God it's the work of the Holy Spirit yes my friends receive that miracle today I thank the Lord for the healings today Today. I thank him for deliverance. I thank him for salvation. I thank him for doing a great work. Yes, my friends, do have a great sweet night rest in the presence and the anointing of God. Jesus Christ had finished the work on Calvary 2,000 years ago, and we're heading for something greater very soon in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. God bless you richly, and thank you very much for being here the whole day. God God bless you in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Thank you.